Welcome to today's full day of eating people. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So what we're going for today is still a high protein full day of eating, but all the main protein sources today is going to be seafood, just to switch things up. So the main protein source for the first meal is going to be the prawns. And to be honest, we don't even need the egg whites in this meal. I'm going to put a little bit of mixed herbs in the eggs and a little bit of black pepper. And that's going to be it. Uh, this is going to be a very odd meal because I've never ever had prawns or shrimp with just eggs on its own. Obviously I've had prawn fried rice, so like when you add the actual like rice to it, so it makes a really nice dish. But I've never had it on its own, but I was randomly on YouTube and I came across a video. And it was like a, a traditional Cantonese recipe apparently where they have shrimp with scrambled eggs. So I thought, you know what, let me just try it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the prawns, make sure they're thoroughly deveined and then I'm going to season the prawns. I've got fish seasoning, a little bit of ginger, pepper, mixed herbs and they had garlic cloves but I don't have any in my house right now so we're going to skip that. Folks, we have the meal here. If I'm being honest, it tastes all right. I thought it was gonna taste more weird. Like I think a big part of the back of my head does want to get a pack of rice and add it in, but it's not necessary. I will say this is me butchering that Cantonese recipe that I saw online. There one, she used five whole eggs and whipped it and all that stuff and also added in a few other ingredients. And she only used around 10 of the shrimp pieces, whereas I've used a full pack of prawns. One addition I added was the um, chorizo. I wish I added in more, because that really does set it off. It adds like an extra bit of flavor to it. I'll be putting the macros on the screen for you guys to see. But as I said, it came up to 300 calories, 47 grams of protein. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this right now, then come back and show you the next meal. Uh, today's my rest day from the gym, but I'm still gonna be using the treadmill in my house. But anyways, I'll see you for the next meal. It's been around maybe 45 minutes, so I'm getting a little bit peckish, but I'm gonna go on the treadmill soon. So what I'm gonna have is, so we're gonna go for a medium sized banana, and also I'm going to have a iced coffee. Uh, for those who don't remember, in the last full day I showed it, it's basically a whey protein shake that just has caffeine in it. So for those who don't know, you should have caffeine before you work out and before you do cardio. Because there's a massive trend of people that I see that will like do their gym session and then they'll go home and have a coffee. And if you want a more optimal session, drink the caffeine before you work out and before you do your cardio because you're going to have more energy, more oomph, and you're probably going to have more output in your session. can have it with whole milk or almond milk obviously. For a change, I'm gonna have it with whole milk. And this coffee mate stuff here, if I'm being honest, I never even knew it existed. My girlfriend bought it. Um, I typically have it in proper coffee, so when I have like a warm coffee, I've never actually tried it in the, in the ice latte, so I thought I'm just gonna try it just because I wanna see if it makes it more creamier. And with this, I have a very minimal amount. I don't put loads of it in. Oh, I almost forgot the most important ingredient. I've become a fan of these super large ice cubes. So all I have to do is add one. It definitely tastes thicker and creamier. It's probably a combination of the whole milk and the coffee, mate. So, um, I'd recommend that if you haven't tried it, it's on my Pony's website. But anyways, I'm gonna chill for a bit, then get on that treadmill. The next meal, what we're gonna have is salmon, prawns, a mix of veg, and udon noodles. Uh, to be honest, if you're talking about like gym heavy, like the most optimal thing for me to eat for a meal probably would have been instead of the udon noodles, going for the whole wheat pasta. Has more protein with it, has more fiber with it. However, you don't have to always do optimal every single day. Sometimes it's about pure enjoyment. Even though I do love whole wheat pasta, today I want to have the udon noodles, and these specific udon noodles aren't actually that bad. Per hundred grams of them, uh, it is. 4 grams of protein and only 0.6 grams of fat. Most noodles tend to be a little of ramen noodles and like the ones you get in the packets tend to be higher. So the 
benefit of using pink prawns is that they're already cooked, it's just a case of heating them up. So you don't want to put them in too early because the prawns will get very rubbery and they won't taste juicy. So you've seen the meal right here, we've got the udon noodles, salmon, 210 grams of prawns, a little bit of broccoli and corn in there as well. This is delicious, I've tried it, the noodles are so, so chewy. Due to some of the seasons I put on, it's a little bit spicy though, so what I'm going to do is use a little bit of sweet chilli sauce to cool it down a bit. Um, this roughly comes up to probably around, once I include like the sauces and stuff, roughly around 800 calories. Um, it's a higher calorie meal than I normally have in a day, but I wanted them noodles. Them noodles is delicious and I probably didn't need the full pack of prawns with the salmon. But as you guys know, it's not about a single meal all the time, it's about your total calorie intake. And at the moment, this probably puts me up to around maybe 1500 calories, so I've still got food to, I've still got calories to play with, you know what I'm saying? If you try this recipe, let me know. And if you want to know where I got these from, it was from Asda on the World Food Oil. But if you have like a wing gift or any sort of Asian store near you, they'll obviously have loads of different versions that you can get yourself. Rather than the typical, uh, <laughs> basic uh, noodles you get in the stores. After a couple more mouthfuls, I have to come back to you guys. I'm rating these noodles a good 9.5. They are so delicious. Alright, it's been around 10 minutes since I had that meal. I'm craving something sweet, so what I'm going to go for is the pack of blueberries. So I'm going to eat the full pack of these blueberries. I'll probably, I'm definitely going to eat the full packet over the course of the day. So I'm just going to put them in my fitness pal now. So what I'm going to do is basically place this bowl on the table and as I'm doing work on my laptop, I'll just keep snacking on it until it's finished. But anyways, what I'm going to do now is go take a bath, try and soothe my back because today's my rest day simply because I did kind of injure my back a couple days ago, I kind of got a little bit of a niggle and my chiropractor isn't for another few days. Then after that, I may use my massage gun to try and help like get the niggles out. But yeah, actually I don't think I've shown you my massage gun. Fresh out of the shower. And what I'm going to do for probably the next 10 minutes before I cook my next meal is I'm going to use my massage gun because my lower back is still kind of niggly. I don't think I've shown on here before but I've had this gun now for probably around 4 months. And it comes with like loads of different attachments as well, you just switch them in and out. And they have like loads of settings on the back and me and Kareem both use it. You can use it by yourself because it is fairly easy to use but when it comes to your back and stuff, typically it's better if you have like someone else holding it. So I've had Kareem use it a lot but if not you can just get your muscles like that. But yeah I'm probably going to do that for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to go on to cooking the next meal. On the meal so far. The fish is virtually almost cooked. Uh, the potatoes more or less boiled. I took out the sweet potatoes first because they tend to boil faster than white potatoes so they're getting really really soft to the point they were almost mushy which I don't want to go too far. So I added uh, the broccoli into the actual pot. I only had the broccoli I didn't add any of the cauliflower. To be honest I don't like that. There was some in the in the earlier meal I had because of the frozen whatever but they're really small. But in, overall I'm not a fan of cauliflower. I can tolerate broccoli so I'll put that in. So I'm just going to wait till the fish is almost done and then I'm going to add those in there. Because when Kareen did it uh, for me, she made it so it made the potatoes and broccoli more crispy rather than obviously kind of soggy and too too soft. It helped crisp up the outside. Looking at the veg, I can already tell that I have not done it the exact way my girlfriend did. I have a feeling that I boiled them a little bit too long. The actual broccoli, I think I put that in way too early because that's almost like mulch right now. Now I know, do not add them in. I should add them in literally like three minutes before rather than like, I think I added them in about eight minutes ago. The good thing is it's all about experimenting with your meals and you'll see me do it live with this one. All right, peeps, so the meal is done. I kind of fluffed it on the veg. Like the veg definitely, like it tastes fine. Like I'm eating it, it tastes good, but it wasn't what it was meant to be, it was meant to be like naturally crispy. I, I did it once before, okay with it. But this time around I messed it up because literally I left it boiling too long. This is what happens when you cook food, when you're filming YouTube videos and editing. You let time go by, next thing you know it's been way too long. It still tastes good and I'm still going to eat it, but it's not exactly how I want it to turn out. So it's a little bit annoying, but that's how it goes. When you try and error in different things, especially something you don't cook all the time, you have to keep doing it until you get to that point where 
it's like second nature and you can cook it in your sleep. And for those of you watching, you should know now, we're at the point now where I've shown you most of my main recipes all the time. Now I'm just making new ones for you guys. So I'm in that mode where I'm telling you guys to go where it's just trial and error in brand new recipes that you may not have all the time to see what you like and what you can change and what you can do to make meals that you actually enjoy. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for you guys to see. It's roughly around 500 calories, 60 grams of protein, uh, 60 grams of carbs and three grams of fat. So yeah, that's up to there. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this right now while I watch some TV. And after I finish this, I'll probably pick out something sweet to kind of fulfill my craving. Because most times after I have a meal, I crave something sweet. Let me know down below if that happens to you. But if you do, try and go for something low calorie and sweet like jellies, fruits, and things like that. Despite what it looked like in terms of that veg, that tasted really, really good. I would have enjoyed it more if it was how I wanted it, like really crispy and crunchy, but it was really good. Um, I actually really like that. Uh, anyway, as for the last thing I'm probably going to eat today, I'm going to go for just something sweet after that. So I'm going to go with a fibre bar, which I'm going to have right now, like it's a chocolate fibre bar. It's the, I think called Chocolate Delight. Uh, you'll see the macros on the screen. And after that, what I'll have probably in about half an hour's time is an apple and that will probably fill me up for the rest of the day. As for the calories and macros, we are coming up to around just on the 2,300 calories. Uh, we've got 215 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, and 225 grams of carbs. I'm very happy with that day, and that was with me just eating how I normally would eat. So hopefully in this full day of eating, you've seen some meals that you may want to try out yourself. Remember, don't just copy every single thing I ate today. That's not how it's going to work for you. Trial and error certain things, try out new recipes, pick and choose things, change the portion size around to suit you. But overall, just meant to give you a general idea of things you can eat. But anyways, let me know in the comments what level of calories you want me to go for next. Uh, this one was 2300, the next one can be 3000, it can be lower, it can be 1600. Let me know what calories you want to see me go for next on a high protein diet to give you guys some ideas. Anyways people, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay getting gains. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.